at the rock in front of me. Rock it in front of me. Three, four, five. Oh, dude, that was the guy that was in our last game. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Lads, if you're a controller player like me, I know this season has been a bit of a struggle to find what your spray weapon should be. With the removal of the striker AR, it's not so simple getting those lasers on other players. Sure, you could go for the Thunderburst or you could pick up the new drum gun, but those are better kitted for close quarters. And with the recent change to the two times to make it a thermal scope, which is honestly kind of gross, I've been looking at the Nemesis AR quite differently. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why you should pick up the Nemesis AR if you're a controller player. I was lasering people out of the sky, getting dinks from far away, and I didn't even have the greatest scope. And if you land at Ares Battleground like I did, you'll get a nice little damage boost off of your coin, ensuring that you're doing the maximum damage you can possibly do with any rifle weapon in the game right now. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment down below what your favorite weapon in the game is right now, and of course, use code SOURHEART in the Fortnite item shop. What? Well, that guy was all alone. I guess this guy, squad must have quit. But that was weird, dude. Like, I could go through this painting. What do they say in the military? Concealment, not cover? Half of our squad gets down during the drop. So I hop in the G-Wagon and rush to help the fight. However, this guy cleans it up pretty quick. So we just go grab the reboot to get Ares coin as fast as possible. And you definitely want to rush Ares coin as fast as possible like because so the tiny, Zeus coin bro. holders tend to come down here and try to battle you. And I do see that there's firing while I'm grabbing this reboot. However, my squad works fast enough that we're the ones actually making the push. I like how he has a pump in his hand, but that's not what he drops here. Good. It didn't let him get both. It's like the game prevents you from being greedy. I mean, that's a decent weapon, but I really think I like the Nemesis better right now as an AR. It's easier to aim on controller. More consistent. Got one right here. Oh, they got the coin. They got the coin at Mount Olympus. They're right there in front of me, north. They're on that building directly north. I'm going to the right. I'm going to the right. He's in the field. I hit him big. He's at the rock that I'm shooting at. At the rock in front of me. Rock in front of me. Three, four, five. Oh, dude, that was the guy that was in our last game. He ended up on the wrong side of the gun, bro. Really shouldn't have tried to fire at him mid jump. It's kind of my bad. Yeah, let's just. Oh, oh, he actually hit that guy off. Wow. That's. You gotta just wait a second when you get him like that. These are. I don't think are even ready. There's one in the tree, though. Magical aim through the canopy. There we go. It's time to stop! Oh, no ammo on the sniper! But you can't do this to me. What is this stance with the knee on the... Oh, you put the knee up when you like ADS. That's kind of cool. Oh, dude. Over northwest, we got actual squad. I would be careful about being down there right now. I got we got two down. The dude was Sniping off the back of the bike. He made a big mistake there, honestly.
Oof, I think I'm aiming a little too low there. Now my logic here was to throw these bunkers and then shockwave over to support my teammates. But they completely overextended past the river to the hill under floating island, and they ended up both getting downed in 1v1s. So me and my duo just took position and started plinking for as much damage as we could, since the reboot cards have quite a bit of time before they actually expire. Right. Why did they move ahead like that? These fools. That's why I didn't want to give. It's exactly why it's good we didn't give them the keys. You just stay with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just be in bush, be in bush, be in bush together. We can get them in like as many seconds as we need. It's good. We can chill. They're about to fight over there, so let's just hang out under this tree. Oh. Coming through bush, actually. Oh, he thought that would... The slide, uh, at the rock. Oh, I'm whiffing. I really should have taken more time on that aim in. He got him. Yeah, they are aiming down at those cards. This sucks. It really sucks that they died right here, bro. This is the worst place they could have died. At this point, the storm is about to pull everyone away from Floating Island. So the team that's been holding us decides to go down and look through the loot. And that's when we really start to tear them up with this Nemesis AR. You wait here. You wait here. I'm gonna go for those. God, these guys. Annoying. I don't have any health! No! He f killed me right there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get knocked down. Oh! Thankfully, it's still only a two tick storm, so a revive is possible. There's plenty of movement items and healing in the area, considering there's about two squads worth of loot. My duo has the Zeus coin, so I trade off the shockwaves for his med kits, and he goes and gets the reboot cards, while I go through the loot of the Icarus Wing users that we lasered on our side of the river. This is a big tip that I give to newer or less experienced players, is to not be so scared of the storm. Because we took our time here in the storm, we managed to make it to the reboot van before the last player in the game. So not only did we have supreme loot advantage, we just swarmed this guy from angles he did not expect. That's the guy who has like half of his squad eliminated. It's just us and him, so play it careful. Play it careful, just don't get sniped. Yeah, 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 we got a couple seconds, let's go for it. He probably can't do anything about this. Here he comes, but we're double rezzing. I went behind him. I know, I, I, I calculated that and I was like, but he'll be looking at you, so. And just like that, we got a very dominant squad victory and all it took was a little bit of teamwork and planning. But truth be told, I only like dropping on the coins when I'm rolling with the squad. If you wanna see how to get easy victories in solo mode, Check out this video on my favorite drop spot in the current meta. Be sure to use code SOURHEART in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel, and I will catch you all in the next video.